Now some people can't get enough of David's farm on YouTube but of course since this is Canada and half of the year it sucks because it's cold I can't make car videos all the time so to kind of keep you guys happy anybody can talk and of course I can too so instead of car stunts when it's cold and crappy out I can blog or vlog as you call it a video log or a video blog and just hopefully I get less personal messages on this account because I still spend almost six hours a day just answering personal messages and running YouTube and checking out my comments and editing videos and stuff so this channel is to make you guys happy to keep you interested if I can't make videos every day to let you get to know me better and what makes me tick and to give you more insight of what's going on in my life and or, or around me or with the bylaw people or with other problems and my opinions on things I kinda got a rounded education so I have some good opinions on lots of things so first of all there's been no progress on my go-kart since I put the primer on it and there's like two reasons for that while I was priming it in the garage of course I have a wood stove and so I had to heat the garage with a dangerous fire when you're using paint fumes like lacquer thinner that's mixed with primer and when your garage gets to the right consistency of vapors and air it can just suddenly blow up <laughs> yeah uh, you can't open the doors too much because then all the cold air rushes in and it's below freezing every day and then your paint doesn't stick right and your primer runs or whatever so I'm hoping that it gets a little bit warmer out so I can preheat the garage warm the frame up on my go-kart, warm the paint up that I'm going to spray it with, the shiny stuff that's automotive paint to make it look beautiful, and have enough ventilation, since I have an unventilated shop, that I won't die doing it, <laughs> and lose my shop too. Well, and of course the other reason is my income tax. Well, I usually wait till end of March or something like that before I start putting all that paperwork together and send it off to my accountant and 2009 I have more receipts and more income than I ever have because of my miss because of my good fortune on YouTube and help from all my fans days farm rocks keep it up well I had to get at it a little early this year my ex-girlfriend Evelyn in Calgary of course is aware that I'm making more money now or at least she thinks I still am and she of course is taking me back to court for more child support and of course the judges will gonna want to see my most recent years income before he makes a decision how much child support to give her after it goes through the courts so that's the situation right now my paperwork is all assembled now and at the accountant's office also got some money left over after all that good income and I'm going to be buying some RSPs to help reduce my taxes. Taxes suck. I've even got to pay GST on my YouTube income because my income is greater than 30000 and that's how the laws work in Canada. So I have to throw an extra 5% from my income, all my incomes, and give it to the damn government. 